we are so excited to be here today for a really fun video. So as you can see, we're a little bit different. We're sitting down, we're relaxing today because today is a chatty video. So we ask all of you here and over on Instagram if you would send us your assumptions about us. This is a video trend that has been going on for a while all over YouTube and we thought we would join in on the fun and we have so much fun stuff to share. You guys were great. You sent us some great questions and some assumptions and I think it's going to be really fun. So if this is your first time tuning in, I'm Kelly. This is my best friend, Christina. Stick around. You'll get to know us a little bit better. And if you're not new here, but you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you hit that. We'd love to have you join us. Of course, we have lots of great content coming out this year, all related to fashion and beauty and all the things. So let's dive in. Okay. So here I am very professional with my readers. <laughs> Christina is older than me, but she can still see perfectly, <laughs> but not me, I need the readers. So we put together this collection of assumptions all from you guys, and we're just gonna go through them and kind of talk about them and answer any questions. So hopefully this is gonna be really fun, probably really long, so make sure you have a drink or a snack. <laughs> okay, assumption number one, that we always look put together even when we're taking out the garbage or going to the supermarket. <laughs> okay, so this one, <laughs> Kelly and I, we were cracking up laughing because some of these assumptions, you guys are right on the money, Mm -hmm. Some of these assumptions you guys are wrong about, and unfortunately, wah, 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 this one you guys are definitely wrong about. Absolutely. Like, there are times when I'm picked together, I put my makeup and my hair on, and I'm going out, I'm feeling great. And then there's other times where I am literally like big glasses, hiding in the supermarket, hoping that I don't see anybody that I know. <laughs> yeah, for me, there I have two looks. I always say I either look like I rolled out of bed <laughs> or like I'm camera ready. Like, there yeah. is no in between because once I start like putting on a little bit of makeup it's like oh let me just add a little bronzer mm -hmm. oh let me just add a little eyeliner and then it's like a full face of makeup but a I never take out the garbage yeah <laughs> that's, that's true I dump that one on my husband. <laughs> husband so and then supermarket for me is usually like yeah run in I look like a train wreck and run out as fast as I can but if I'm going to meet up with friends mm -hmm. or do something like that yes I do try to look a little put together because God forbid we run into a viewer too, yeah. you know, we don't want to look <laughs> <laughs> like we don't know, like we shouldn't be here. I'm being <laughs> duped. All right. So the next question is kind of piggybacking off of the first one. And that is you guys are assuming that our houses are in perfect order. <laughs> Always. Of course. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> The staff keeps it. Yeah. So. Oh my God. Can you imagine? I wish. The staff, the, the, the cleaning lady, the cook, the, That's the right. driver. Yeah. So go ahead. Yeah, no, definitely not. I try to keep things at least picked up and tidy, especially because Christina's coming over twice a week mm -hmm. for filming. I don't want her walking into a disaster, but definitely not in perfect order. And God forbid someone opens a closet or a drawer, yeah. then all my secrets are going to be yeah. out in the open. So same thing. If I've got, you know, friends that are coming over, I will have the house picked up. It looks great, but there's been plenty of times where Kelly's come over to my house and I've had like Mount Everest of laundry on my couch. And I'll go like, just don't look over there. It doesn't exist. And especially my daughter's best friend who really is like a sister mm -hmm. to her. She comes over and my number one comment that I always say to her is just pretend you don't see the mess. <laughs> so it definitely exists, but I love the fact, I really wish that I was more, yeah, me you know, too. organized I and put together, like but you know, I'm not, I definitely like right now I have some dirty dishes in my sink me that too. need to get cleaned up and some laundry that's got to get put away. So, you know, what can you say? You know, we're typical moms. It's not yep. in perfect order and that's okay. Okay. Moving along to number three. Let's see. We are very into our families and we balance out each other's personalities, making it easy to work well together. Yeah. So Pretty that good. one, yeah, Pretty that one is like right on the money right on in the money. all areas. You it know? really is. Yeah. We are definitely, we definitely balance each other out mm -hmm. so well. It's honestly five years of working together. It's going to be six. Our yes. anniversary oh, is right. this year. It's going to be six. That's right. Next month, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I so know. yeah, we, you couldn't, you couldn't do this with a partner if you didn't have that kind of relationship. Yeah. So that is spot on. And yes, we are definitely all about our families, which also makes it really easy to work together yeah. because that's our priority first. Yeah. So I love that. I love that you guys know that yes. about us. I just, I'm going to try to work on the tidiness. You know, <laughs> I'm going to live 
live up to you guys' like expectations. Oh yeah, there was a few here that I was like, that's the person I want to yeah, be. Exactly. <laughs> and it's so funny. Oh, also you guys, I really want you to leave a comment down below. So we're going to be sharing a lot of things, you know, about us and which assumptions are right and which assumptions are wrong. So definitely let us know which one is the most surprising thing oh, you guys learned one. today and leave that down below because of course we'd love to read yes. that. Okay, so a lot of you guys had some similar questions. So in this one, I we kind of like grouped them all together. So there's the question and then there's some subparts to the question. All right, so here we go. You guys assume that our closets are fabulous. You also really wanted to know what do we do with all of our clothes? Do we get free clothing from, you know, different stores? Do we get big discounts from the stores? Do we return a lot of clothes? And also, does Kelly have a larger shoe collection <laughs> than Elda Marcos, who is the first Amel lady? Amelda? Amelda Marcos? Oh, what did I say? Elda. <laughs> Um, Amelda? <laughs> Amelda Marcos. She's actually the former first lady of the Philippines who had a notoriously large shoe collection. <laughs> yeah, these are things that you guys believed about us. You mm -hmm. think we have these things. So yeah. now we'll clear it up for you a little bit. So, yeah. okay, having a what, really big closet? Was yes. The first one? Okay, well, I didn't have mm -hmm. a really big closet, but now um, our filming room is basically my closet. So all the things that you see around us and the background and everything, this is actually um, a spare bedroom that was turned into my closet slash filming space. So I do have a really cool closet now, but no, I never did have a really huge closet. <laughs> it's basically filming space. And what else? Um, okay, and then free also, stuff. Oh yeah, do we get free clothing Extremely from a lot of these? Extremely rare. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Extremely Unless rare. Unless they want it, like we might have gotten, um, you know, an opportunity to maybe do like a sponsored video, mm -hmm. and they want us to pick like one or two right. items and then share those items, but. Really? I think no. other influencers, a lot of them do get yes. a lot of free stuff. And it's because, um, I don't know if you guys have know this or have noticed, but we don't really do much sponsored content mm -hmm. at all. It's extremely rare that we do sponsored content. Um, if we do, you know, because we're saying thank you to Walmart. And right. I mean, so few of our videos are sponsored. So because of that, they don't send us free stuff because we're not promoting their clothing. We only right. promote the clothing that we actually buy for ourselves and really love. So because of that, I mean, we don't really get free uh, much of anything. We didn't yeah. really get a lot of free Christmas no. stuff. Or <laughs> and, even, and even when we do, you know, have like a collaboration with Walmart, you know, we're not getting free clothing no. from them. We are purchasing those things ourselves. Those mm -hmm. are things that we're, you know, interested in buying. Or, you know, you guys might have had some requests for some items, so we're keeping that in mind while we're hunting certain things down for you. And discounts either, we don't really get discounts. I mean, we get the same mm -hmm. discounts that you guys get. If we get a discount, it's a discount to pass on to our viewers, but right. yeah, we don't get that. Everything that you see, we purchased ourselves. Oh, okay, um, we return a lot. So do we keep a lot of the clothing um, that we get? So I will say that for us, we keep the things that we really love, um, but definitely there are things that we're going to return. And naturally that's gonna happen because of the amount of ordering that we're doing. So there's so many things that we will purchase and naturally the items that we never share with you ladies, those are automatically mm -hmm. getting returned right away. Cause if we're not gonna share it, we're not going to obviously keep it. And then there are some times where we are sharing certain things with you guys. And let's say for example, those items, and you guys have known that they've <laughs> sold out immediately, like right after the video, you know, is shared with you guys those are also pieces that nine times out of ten we're also going to return because if those items are already sold out then you guys aren't able to get your hands on them and there's no reason for us to you know style them in a million different ways um, if you guys aren't able to actually get the product you know at home as well so yeah we um some and, things like if we think they'll restock it mm -hmm. you know maybe but if we know it's not going to get restocked it's like right. who wants to watch a video where someone's saying these are the best jeans and they're <laughs> such a great deal well you can't get them yeah. but i have them so we do have to return things and also you know how many black sweaters can yes. a person own 
living in South Florida. So right. sometimes it's just redundancy. You know, we want to yeah. show you guys what's fresh and new, but we can't keep all of it or we would go broke, yeah. honestly. And there's <laughs> also the obvious too, like if we're getting a lot of like outerwear that we want to share with you yeah. guys, that's strictly for you. Sometimes you guys might ask us for like wedding guest like dresses. We're going to make that video just for you guys. So we're selecting those pieces in order mm -hmm. to give you guys the content that you're requesting. Um, and the last one was about, you know, your shoe My collection. Shoe collection. <laughs> I had those shoes. I do. I really do. No, I definitely do not. I think I have like a pretty average larger size shoe collection. It's not like crazy big, no. but I also filter through my shoes a lot the mm -hmm. same way I filter through my clothes. So when things are no longer available or I'm not really using them, if something's sitting in there for a couple of months and I haven't reached for it, I donate. So Christina and I, we both donate a lot, yeah. whether it's to, you know, people in our lives that we know personally or to Goodwill, Salvation Army, you know, all kinds of places, but we donate a lot. Yeah. So yeah, a lot is getting filtered out. Yeah. I only have enough space for so many shoes. And so if I buy new shoes, I'm usually donating another pair yeah. of shoes. Which my husband thinks is hilarious because I donate so much to Salvation Army, but my daughter loves shopping at <laughs> Salvation too. Army. Both so my, my husband's kids. like, why don't you just give it all to our daughter? <laughs> right? Well, I, I often say like my girls, they never want my clothes. Like they're like, oh no, that's, I don't like that. And I'm like, if I just gave it to Salvation Army, they'd yeah. probably go pay $5 and buy it. Exactly. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Okay. So next okay, one. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Get the glasses on that we are kind and supportive to each other and to our girlfriends. That is very true. Yeah. That is very true. Mm -hmm. I think that, yeah, that's just how we are. That's what actually bonded us so much um, mm -hmm. is that we are, you know, that way we're very supportive with each other. We're there for each other in the ups and the downs, the yeah. way that, you know, friends should be. Mm -hmm. And I think we each have like a handful of close girlfriends in our lives and we try to be the same way with them as well yeah. so I think it's like um, quality over quantity I, I don't really have a lot of friends I have yeah. like a handful and those people I try very hard to be supportive and be there for them as much as I can yeah and I think it's the reason why too is because we also surround ourselves with women who are you know smart and they're inspiring and they're motivating and they're supportive and so i just couldn't imagine having like a friendship with someone where i didn't you know feel the same way or maybe i was like competitive with them mm -hmm. or intimidated by that like their successes and their knowledge and things that i'm not aware of i feel like are always just you know enriching my life and of course i'm passing off that information to, to kelly and vice versa so yes thank you for that assumption that was a really sweet one mm -hmm. i love that Okay, you get the next one. Okay, so um, let's see. Um, we live in gated communities with fabulous houses, big swimming pools. We drive sports cars and have husbands that are lawyers and plastic <laughs> surgeons. I love that one. I, know, right? I love that one. Okay, there's so, some truth yeah, in there. Yeah, there is. But... There is exactly. Okay, so I live in a gated community. I do not. You, okay, and fabulous houses, which. My house is fabulous. I think Kelly's house is fabulous. I like my house. But do we have like, you know, mansions? No, no, we don't. Um, we do both have swimming pools, but I would also say that 90% of people in Florida have, have swimming, swimming pools. pools. Uh, drive sports cars. So, <laughs> no, no, we don't drive no. sports cars, but Kelly's husband loves cars. He does. He so, does. he does have like some cars that he tinkers with, which I don't know, are they in the category of sports cars? One of them. One of them, One right? Of them is, okay. Yeah. And then um, my husband is a lawyer, he's a mm. partner in a law firm. And I wish my husband was a plastic <laughs> because I would definitely be getting some <laughs> tweaking done. <laughs> No, my husband is actually an entrepreneur. He owns some businesses, but no plastic surgeons. But yeah, I, I really wish we did have one of those in the family. It would be nice. <laughs> Get a discount. Exactly. <laughs> okay, and then you're next. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, this is one of my personal favorites. Okay. This is, one. This, is um, this would be a goal of mine. This is like who I wish I was. We're stay-at-home moms who go to the gym every day and are able to buy nice things because our husbands make a lot of money. So oh I don't know if that was supposed to be like positive or negative, but I'll take it. So we are stay-at-home moms or, you know, we, we, well, we still are, but now we work from home as well mm -hmm. and have older children. Um, and yes, our husbands do well. We're very blessed. And so we have been able to have nice things. 
the gym part really oh, got me. Oh gosh, I that's love, so I funny. love that someone had that yeah, assumption. It made I me know. feel so good. I was like, do I look toned? Do I look like I go to the gym? I, I look healthy. I don't know. This camera must be working some <laughs> magic or something. Uh, no, I I hate gyms. I, I have to be too. honest. I know you're supposed to exercise. I know it's good for you. I get all the benefits. I just hate it. I hate mm -hmm. it. I hate it. I hate it. I haven't seen the inside of a gym for years. Yeah. I don't have any motivation to go to a gym. I don't want to go to a gym. <laughs> the last time we both went to a gym was oh, when we God. went together, that was... and that was years. <laughs> was that actually before we even started? That doing was this before. Gym? Okay, and, so and, that tells yeah. you at least at least six years. <laughs> and they say like the best way to work out is you have to have a partner. And mm -hmm. it's, okay, but someone forgot to tell us that one of those people <laughs> should be someone who actually wants to go. Go to yes. a gym and is motivating the person. <laughs> Trying to inspire the other yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> we don't have that. Yeah, We're not a good oh, gym I partner. Like I'm getting a headache. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we shouldn't go. It could get worse. I didn't sleep very we well should last rest. Night. <laughs> you know, let's go to lunch instead. Exactly. Yeah, it was not. It was not successful. Mm -hmm. So we haven't tried that again for a long, yeah, we gave that long one up. time. Okay. Oh gosh, this one. I find it <laughs> so funny. Okay, so you guys assumed that we grew up in affluent families and went to Ivy League schools. <laughs> so I will tell you for those, for actually, you know, maybe there was more than just one person that assumed this, but mm -hmm. I'm an army brat, so that's not true. My mom, she worked as a waitress for 17 years, so definitely not affluent at all. And Ivy League school, no. I went to, <laughs> I, I went to Northeastern uh, University in Boston, but not Ivy League. Yeah, I um, grew up in a very like middle, upper middle class family. However, um, my father and my mother were both very poor growing up. And so my dad was like the plumber, the neighborhood plumber, and he worked very, very hard. Blue collar worker, you know, worked six days a week, always had like dirty fingernails and everything. Like definitely a hard working man who, you know, was able to eventually have some level of success. So I'm very proud of that because they definitely did not come from affluent families mm -hmm. at all. They worked really hard to give me, you know, the best that they could, which was great. And I definitely did not go to an Ivy League school. I went to like a small private college in Miami. And yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> we were not born with a silver spoon in our mouth. I wish I went to sure. Princeton though. That yeah, would have been me cool. too. Me too. I've got like a Harvard sweatshirt. In I know. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is that we grew up in South Florida and have never seen snow. So for me, I did grow up in South Florida. I've only lived in South Florida my whole life. I was born, well, I wasn't born. And when I turned four, my parents moved into the house that I was raised in my whole life. My dad actually just sold that house like a year ago. So yeah, we definitely had roots in South Florida. However, I have seen snow many times because my family loves to travel. So seen a lot of snow. When was the first time you saw snow? I think three years old because my mother three. had family uh, in Ohio so okay, we okay. went to visit. And for me that would be a yes because very quickly after I was born I don't remember if I saw snow or not in Maryland because we moved like three months later but I then you know grew up in Germany which you know there's lots of snow there and then we went to and Illinois. Born, you, you weren't born in Florida so. No oh sorry I was born in Maryland. So yeah, and then like I said, I only lived there for just a few months before we ended up moving. But yeah, there was snow even when I lived in Tennessee. They, it snowed yeah, there, yeah. you know. So lots of lots snow. of snow. Yeah. Even though we don't see it now very often, but yeah, I got yeah. more than my fill yeah. when I lived in New York <laughs> and Boston. Oh my goodness! So I was like, where's the place that <laughs> never, never <snows>? gets snow? <laughs> I'm moving to Florida. All right. So the next assumption is that we share designer purses and that we take turns um, with you know changing out the background and oh my gosh this is, a, this is kind of like a three-parter and that we have a script that we go over before every single video so you want to go ahead and answer that one okay so share designer purses in videos yes we grab whatever is around us and style it and everything and of course I will always share anything with Christina. So yeah, but often not really. Mm -hmm. I mean, typically we kind of have our own things that we use and stuff. So we're not really sharing stuff in real life very often. Um, and as far as the background, it's funny because I think a lot of people think that the background changes a lot because we're really thinking about it and we're changing it. 
the background actually changes a lot because it's my closet yeah. <laughs> so I'm using these things all the time so I'll grab a purse from there and go out and then before we film I have to fill those holes so I'll just put something back in its place so really it's just changing because those things are getting worn a lot and yeah. it's not really that strategic yeah. and, and truthfully I don't have any designer purses I do get to like Kelly said style them when I'm here but I personally would never borrow them from her because I, God forbid, if I was to ever like damage it or lose it or whatever, my mom taught me when I was really young, never, you know, like borrow money or borrow clothes from your friends because it's like the fastest way to ruin a friendship. Aww. So I have just maintained that rule. I don't know if that's a rule that everyone told their kids, but that was the one that I was taught. And as far as for scripts, so I will tell you, that's a big old no, because <laughs> if we had scripts that we were practicing before this, I wouldn't have so many grammatical errors because I am constantly <laughs> like saying things wrong or mispronouncing things. And if I had at least a script to go off of, my grammar would be so much better than it is. No, and the thing is when we first started out way, oh, almost yeah. six years ago, we did try to script ourselves a little bit because of course we weren't super comfortable with what we were gonna say. And sometimes we would even like, I remember or tape mm -hmm. it like on the front of the camera it's very hard to work off of a script I mean trying to read it and look natural and interact natural it's definitely I wouldn't recommend it I mean we don't script at all yeah. um, we don't even usually have a lot of notes unless it's like remembering prices and things right. that we want to share with you guys but overall we just kind of discuss what our ideas are for a video and then we just get on camera and make it happen mm -hmm. so no scripting okay the next assumption is that our families and husbands spend a lot of time together. So I'll let you take that one. Please. Okay, so that is a no. So that might be one of the ones that you guys yep. comment down below and say like, I'm so shocked, I can't believe this. Um, so our kids never went to the same school together. We actually met because our girls were in Girl Scout when they were in kindergarten together through like second grade. But I think that because they didn't go to school together, you know, they naturally have their own friends in their own schools. And it's not like our husbands, we never see each other, we never get together. But I met my husband when I was 14 and he was 15. So I've just, the dynamic in my relationship is that he's always had like his hockey buddies who he hangs out with. I've always had my group of friends who I hang out with. Um, and sometimes we like mix it up, but mostly like he's off doing stuff with his friends and I'm off doing stuff with my friends. So yeah, I mean, we've definitely like celebrated some holidays mm -hmm. like Easter and stuff right. over um, and our kids get along great. I know mm -hmm. that was actually a question. They do get along really well, but I think that early on we had kind of had a discussion about that. We felt it was really important for us to like them to find their friends in their schools because yeah. we felt like that's where they were gonna be spending the majority of their time. And because we really like were spending a lot of time promoting that, having the school friends over, getting them involved in school activities, it didn't really give us a lot of time to get them together, which I think sometimes we kind of regret because mm -hmm. now that they're grown, we see like, oh, it would have been really nice, but they love each other, you know, they get along, but they don't really see each other that often. Yeah. I mean, with their different like extracurriculars and stuff, not going to the same school makes it kind of hard to do that. Mm -hmm. so. The friendship is all ours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm greedy. I don't want to share her with anyone. All right, the next assumption is that Christina is the disciplinarian and <laughs> Kelly is more lax. I need your glasses. I need to like put them on the bridge of my nose. <laughs> like a school teacher. <laughs> you need a ruler? Yeah, like, yeah. The, like the nuns? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we this one we this found one made funny. Me laugh. Yeah, well, because, oh gosh. I wish I was more of a, <laughs> of a disciplinarian. I wish I was living up to like the tiger mom, you know, like I feel, yes, I feel like I'm, I'm so not, but I mean, just in general, Kelly and I are definitely not as strict as like our husbands are. True. I think that that's, that you know, true. so that's like the first level, but even amongst each other, I mean, Kelly knows like I'm not, I'm not very good at like disciplining my kids so they do run a little bit wild. No, like, they're really good. They're really good. So. But like I told my husband this and he was like, no, this person does not know you. You do not That is a wrong yeah. assumption. I'm usually like hiding what the kids have done. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to tell your dad, but seriously, you got to get your stuff together. So. I told that one to Addison and she's like, you're way meaner than Christina. <laughs> I was like, that's right, that's right. I'm the that's not true. <laughs> so, yeah, I, 
I think I kind of relate it to my Irish temper. Like no. I'm, I definitely am more of the strict disciplinarian, but yes, my husband probably would say I'm a little bit of a pushover sometimes mm -hmm. too. So I guess neither one of us are really as tough yeah. as we maybe want to be sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I'm like mush. <laughs> I'm like, gosh, I really don't like follow through with discipline. I was really trying to think like, I've yelled at my kids. For sure I've yelled at my kids. Like I, I definitely oh, have not too. like not yelled me at them. Too. But Oh my gosh. Okay. The next one is you guys assumed or someone assumed that we met at a local country club. Oh gosh. Oh, I, mean, <laughs> I guess you could kind of say in a way we did because yeah. Our Girl Scout meetings were held at oh. like a local community center. Yeah. I don't know if that's a country club. I don't well, think so. It wasn't quite that glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> People who are part of a country club, they're like, uh, uh community no. center? That is not the same. <laughs> for Girl Scouts, Girl Scout <laughs> meetings. We basically were like, the parents, you would, you would drop your kid off for the meeting, but then you had to stay there. Yeah. So there was like a little back room that we all got locked into, and that's kind of how we became friends. So definitely not oh. as glamorous as a country club. Yeah. I've never really been to a country club. Me I mean, either. I think I've been to one, but like not as a member. Right, or exactly. Like yeah. yeah. Maybe for like someone's wedding or yeah, something. Yeah, like an event <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. yeah. And someone also thought that we had met at work. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And that um, then we actually quit our jobs. We freed ourselves <laughs> from the chains, decided to do YouTube together. And you know, like we said, that's not true either. So. Yeah. We were stay at home moms. We didn't work and we decided to do YouTube really for fun never mm -hmm. never thinking that it would actually become like a career we thought it would you know be something fun that we did our kids were getting older and we just got really lucky with yeah. it I mean we loved it and it just turned into a really great career better than anything that I ever could have dreamed up so yeah. and yeah so now we went from like oh we're gonna do this and just have fun to like we're working like 40 yeah. hours a week yeah it's true, it's true. <laughs> but it's worth it because someone did say um I assume that you love what you do so that you never work a day in your life. And I would say that's mm -hmm. very true because yes. I don't think there's anything else I could be doing 40 hours a week no. and feel like, oh my gosh, I love what I do. Yeah. It's so fun. But yeah, this yeah. is definitely a blessing. And you know, the other thing too, you guys might not even realize. So we've been, like I said, our anniversary is going to be this February, mm -hmm. February 1st for six years. The first three years, we didn't make any money. So yeah. that I think is also proof in the pudding. It's not just a saying like we really enjoyed it. Like imagine doing something where for the first year and a half, we had one video coming out and mm -hmm. then we doubled down. We're like, we're not making yeah. any money, in it. but yeah. we doubled down and we started making two videos a week. And it purely was just so much of the great feedback that we were mm -hmm. getting from you guys. We were really enjoying it. It was like stimulating. It was challenging. It was also an opportunity for us to like, you know, get together mm -hmm. and, you know, afterwards we go out for lunch and talk about, whoo, what a hard day that was, you know, <laughs> working. Yeah, it's true. It's It's been really a cool journey mm -hmm. and something that we never could have could have planned. Oh my goodness, we're, we're at my favorite one here. Oh so my God. This assumption is like my favorite <laughs> assumption and whoever wrote this, you're my best friend. Sorry, Christina. No, I'm <laughs> This is the person I want to be so mm -hmm. much. I want to be this person. So it says they assume that we diet and exercise daily and only eat 1200 calories a day to fit into our clothes. And we have no issues with food or sweets. <laughs> okay. So my friends watching this, who know me in real life, they're on the floor oh, rolling absolutely. in laughter right now. This is so the opposite of who I actually am, but it's mm -hmm. the person I aspire to be, especially yeah. in January really really trying hard to be that person yeah. but yeah definitely not the truth <laughs> no no we are not the pillars of health no so no. kelly she takes um blood pressure pills mm -hmm. and i just got um, my blood work back and yesterday was meeting with my doctor to find out that i have like ridiculously high cholesterol like 272 i didn't know like i thought like okay i guess that's not good the doctor was like you've got gravy running through <laughs> your veins this is bad we've got to fix it oh, so no. yeah i know like yeah that. we're not we're not the picture of health we are working on it yeah um unfortunately yeah. i'm going to be eating a lot of air water and grass because <laughs> my diet is horrible so if you guys see me all of a sudden looking very like weak and oh. pale it's because i'm on a new diet it's called the tree bark 
dark diet. Oh, fun. <laughs> no, and I, my big problem is definitely I have a big sweet tooth, huge sweet tooth, and like soda and things like that. So definitely, like everyone else, you know, over the holidays, put on a few pounds, mm. trying to do those New Year's resolutions, trying to think, you know, healthier and put good things into my body. So I can't say that I have any motivation to go to a gym because I just have figured out that that doesn't really work for me. It just makes me more hungry. Yeah, <laughs> so. and, I, and I was a good best friend because I made sure that I gained more weight than her during the holidays <laughs> to make her feel better, you know? I'm supportive. I'm like, don't worry. See, so you guys won't notice I on twice camera as much. if we both get bigger at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, you would think, Probably people think that because they think, oh, if you're gonna have to be on camera mm. modeling clothes, you must be very motivated to like eat well and exercise. I mean, <sighs> I should be, because yes. you would think that would help you, but it's a struggle. It it's a struggle. struggle. It's bad habits that have been going mm. on for years, and it's a struggle for sure. We have the same struggles that everyone oh, does, yeah. the same issues that everyone yes. does, the same goals. So we're just trying to do better, be healthier. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not the kind of person who's ever gonna go on like this extreme diet or anything, but just trying to think more about like everything I put inside should be something healthy, like something that has a purpose to make me healthier, mm -hmm. help my blood pressure, you know, help your cholesterol, all those things. So yeah, yeah. Or, or else I'm gonna keel over. So I, I gotta <laughs> get too. healthier. Me too. I gotta get healthier. All right. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so this next assumption was so funny. <laughs> we were cracking up laughing. All right. The next person assumed that Kelly has Botox around her mouth and that's why she smiles so much. And I'm going to tell you, I don't think that that's how Botox works. I don't think works. so. I don't think so. But no, she's a happy person. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> that was probably meant to be like a little bit insulting maybe, but actually I kind of took it as a compliment. Like, Number one, you think I had Botox? That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Number two, I smile a lot. So actually I smile a lot for a couple of reasons. The first one being that I am just a happy person. Um, the second one being that if you've ever seen yourself on camera not smiling, <laughs> I personally have like that resting you know what face oh. it's not pretty and yeah. I think that it's very aging mm -hmm. so in order to avoid looking old and you guys really telling me how much I need to have Botox smiling makes me feel like I look yeah. a little better a little younger so I've never had any Botox I'm not against it I'm actually very tempted by it <laughs> but I haven't dug into that yet I haven't tried that yet so no no Botox yeah we haven't had Botox yet and I will tell you the only reason why I may not smile as much as Kelly too is because I always forget so usually I'll like be smiling and then it comes into like a little bit more of like a grimace and then I remember oh I gotta smile again so it's just because I haven't practiced as much I'm not as committed <laughs> sorry ladies you just need the bow tie <laughs> okay here's another good one this oh, okay that Christina is more introverted and serious and talks less mm -hmm. and Kelly is more bubbly and extroverted oh my goodness this one definitely made me chuckle yeah um it's like a little true, but totally not true at the same time, mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. So yeah. I'll just give you my opinion, then I'll let Christina explain her take. But so Christina, maybe at first might come off that way. Like, you know, to some people, she might seem a little more serious and introverted. However, once you get to know her even just a little bit, she is super chatty, <laughs> super friendly, and definitely not introverted. And she's actually much more likely to be the person who is chatting up strangers in the checkout line of the grocery store and everywhere you go, you know, just any, no one's a stranger for very long. She's very talkative, very friendly. I'm kind of someone who, if I meet someone and they're friendly and it's easy, then I'll be really chatty and friendly. But if I have to work hard at it, I kind of just go, okay. <laughs> and then I'm back to being quiet again. So yeah, it's definitely not, it's definitely not clear like that. It's, well, it's I, for you sure. know, when I, when I read it, I was like, oh Lord have mercy. This person has no clue because I am a huge chatty Kathy. Yes. My kids are always going, come on mom, let's go. Cause I'm chatting it up <laughs> with the cashier or the waitress or someone who's working in a store. So I am a huge chatterbox and when I get together with Kelly, she and I are really good Like we aren't offended by each other for like, you know, talking <laughs> over each other We're interrupting one another but with my other friends I have to be very mindful not to like dominate the floor because I do talk a lot but I will say like as far as um, you know, being introverted, we both, you know, actually were much more quiet when we were younger. Sure. And then as we, you know, I think just got older and especially going into college, you kind of grow into 
to your mm -hmm. own. And for me, I always tell my husband, I was saving all my words. So now they are all coming out <laughs> all the time. Um, but I do think that um, as far as like, um, maybe it appearing on camera is because I do get a little bit nervous on camera. I am always trying to like think of what I want to say to you guys, what I want to share. So I'm really like in my head and I will tell you out of the two of us, for sure, hands down, Kelly is like the funniest person you are no, going to meet. Yes, you're she funny is. Too. No, she is like a comic <laughs> genius. She has always got me in stitches. I love watching like stand up comedy and going to comedy shows, and she is just like the funniest person. Everybody thinks that she is no, a no, riot. No, they, no, only you. My family <laughs> That's is not true. My family That's doesn't true. think I'm that funny, and then I say, Christina thinks I'm really funny. <laughs> She's no, my biggest fan. And, and you know what? You guys have seen it too because so many times, even when we're just chatting about maybe like a trend to ditch, you know Kelly, she'll come out there with like those one zingers. So she has, you know, got like a witty sense of humor, which I really love. Oh, thank you. You're you're my biggest fan and then you make me think that I'm really funny. And then I go and like tell the same thing to my family and they're like, no, I'm not that funny. Okay, so the next assumption is that we get along perfectly and we never have any disagreements. So this one is wrong. We actually just had a fist fight the other day. <laughs> <laughs> we were rolling around. Um, yeah, so I have to tell you, like, for me, I have relationships with people that are effortless and that are easy, that are positive. Like, I don't expect perfection from my friends. Kelly's birthday just rolled by, and in the card, what I wrote to her was that, you know, I love the fact that she sees the best in me and that she still loves me even when she sees the worst in me, <laughs> you know? And I feel like, you know, for us, we do get along well. We like do. I just, you know, we're not about drama. We're not about somebody who's going to bring you down, who you feel like doesn't have their your best interest at art, heart, who's celebrating when negative things happen to you. Like I'm not that kind of person. Mm -hmm. So I also think I don't, you know, like draw those kinds of people to me. I'm the kind of person that always has been this way where if you have like something you want to share, something that's on your mind, and maybe we've only met for just a very short, brief period of time, the next thing you know, we're talking about it. I've had, you know, people within like a couple of weeks of meeting me sharing some very, very personal things with me. And that's just kind of, you know, the person that I am. And I'm also very open with, you know, the struggles or the challenges or, you know, frustrations that I have and hoping that I can get some feedback, you know, to kind of help me through. Cause I think that female friendships are super mm -hmm. important. Definitely. Yeah. I would say that we never really fight. Mm -mm. I can't even think of an example of when we've had a fight. We couldn't do this. No, no. We couldn't and do this. Disagreements. I would say, do we agree on every single thing? No, but we, that's not even a disagreement. I it's agree. like we talk about our opinions and we kind of throw things back and forth. And then usually at the end, we're like, oh, I, I can see where she's coming with that. Right. Oh, I can see where you're coming with that. And we kind of find this like solution that both of us are yeah. really excited about and like, oh my gosh, this is even better than what I was thinking it would be. And yeah. so it's just, honestly, we're just open to suggestions and stuff. Exactly. So I know someone had even mentioned like creative differences. And I would say like, we might have different opinions, but we kind of bring it together yeah. and get it to a place where it ends up being better because we've it's got, true. we're coming from two different places. It's so true. it's, yeah, it's really been easy to work together. And we're also very different personalities in some mm -hmm. things like Christina has her, you know, major strengths that are usually my weaknesses and I have my strengths. And so it's also like we each know where we kind of fit in mm -hmm. and what our best things are. And we really trust each other with that. Like, Absolutely. I know there's some things that like I 100% know Christina is the expert in that. I don't even have an opinion on it because I'm not touching that. She knows what she's yeah. doing. So that makes it really easy. It does. It's, it it's does. It, we're good super we're blessed. Good team. Yeah, yeah, we are. We're super blessed. We are. Okay. So the next assumption that this one actually made me laugh because the person didn't explain themselves, but I got you. I, I think I know where you were going with this. It says they assume that we've never vacationed together for more than a few days. Oh, it said seven days. Oh, seven days. Yes. Okay. So I, I have a feeling that I know why they said that. And I think mm -hmm. it's because we get along so well and we're still such great best friends. And I think that for most people, when you think about vacationing with another family mm -hmm. or something for an extended period of time, that's when the cracks. Oh. 
that's when it all goes. I feel like that's where you were going with this. Whoever wrote this, I, I feel you. I feel you because it's really hard to do that, right? It's really hard to vacation with anybody for an extended period of time. Right. And I'm assuming they probably met like our families and stuff. Because oh, okay. I feel like if it was just the two of us, we might be able to do that for a yeah. while. <laughs> yeah. That's I mean, true. we could, I would love to try. You mm -hmm. want to try like yeah. a spa for a week? <laughs> um, but never, yeah, we don't. We've gone on girls trips, but mm -hmm. there, I mean, we couldn't do seven days even if we wanted to because yeah. we just can't be away from home that long. Exactly. So we've done a couple of days. We share a room. I mean, we're great roommates. It's super easy, but I think they were probably going with like family vacations, family vacations extended yeah. periods of time. It's that's super complicated. I don't think I would do that with any anybody friends. Yeah. I think that's. That gets hard. Yeah. That gets hard. And, so. and even when we, you know, went to the LTK conference, you know, we stayed there for like a couple of days mm -hmm. later, you know, um, so that that way yeah. we could have just some like girls time when we were there. Um, and I, so I think that was like probably a total of like five days that we were mm -hmm. together for like a work event and then on top of it. But for me personally, like I feel like in my family, I've got so many different opinions with yep. you know my kids want to you know they disagree on what they want to do my husband has his own opinion so to try to mm -hmm. subject poor Kelly's family <laughs> We have the to, same my, thing, so. to my family not being able to agree, I feel like, oh no, I wouldn't do that. And I just wouldn't do that in general. I kind of like feel like it's so much easier to be able to, at least just for me, mm -hmm. to be able to vacation on our own. I think for you, you, you have we been have able here to and do there, that. Yeah. But it's it's usually not for long periods mm -hmm. of time. And it's more family, you know, but it, it's that can be challenging. So I totally felt like when I read that, I bet that's what they're thinking of. They're oh, probably yeah. thinking of, oh, I bet you haven't done a vacation. <laughs> Because if you Tell have, me, if I'm wrong and you wrote that comment, let me know. But I felt like, I feel you, I feel you. You've probably done it with friends and you know. You're warning us. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I like your content. Don't vacation together. Okay, so we covered all of the questions and assumptions that you guys had for us. We hope you enjoyed this and learned something new. If you have any other questions or assumptions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. And like Christina said earlier, let us know what was the most surprising to you. We would love to hear your feedback. And also, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up because then we know to make more kinds of videos like this. And we'll see you next time.